Okay, so let's provide the solution to this um, equation. 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. Okay, so you can even look at this and um, know what the solution will be. But what if you are expected to solve it completely? What would you do? And in this video, we are bringing out only the real solution. So 4 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x, and 20. What do we do to them? 4 here is 2 times 2. So there will be power of x on that, right? Then plus we have 2 to the power of x. And this is 20. So now, 2 to the power of 2 is 2 squared right and we have x on the outside then plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. now what do i do to this i'm going to change the position of the power here this can come in and 2 can go out so we're going to have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 then plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. Remember that we are having two we are having two to the power of x in two places so we can replace it. Let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. So this means that anywhere we find 2 to the power of x we are going to write y. So me here now we are going to write y squared plus here we have 1y everything equals to 20 let's bring 20 to the left as we have y squared plus y minus 20 equals 0 okay so what again do we do we are going to solve our quadratic equation now and the first question is, can we factorize this? And if it is not factorizable, what should we do to it? Let's look at it. Are there two numbers we we'll multiply to get minus 20? Yes, there are two numbers. The two numbers, if we add, are we going to have positive 1? The answer to that is yes. So if that is the case, let's bring out the two numbers. The two numbers will be 5 and minus 4 so if you multiply these two you're going to have minus 20 if you add both of them you will have positive 1 so now the factors are y plus 5 that is one of the factors and then the second factor is y minus 4 then everything is equal to 0 so from here now it's either y plus 5 is 0 or y minus 4 equals 0 okay so y from here is going to be 0 minus 5 and that will give minus 5 or y from here will be 0 plus 4 and that is 4 so this means that we are going to be having um, our y in place of y here we're going to write 2 to the power of x and that is equal to negative 5 now let's consider this alone for now do you think this is possible it's not possible because there's no real value of x that will give us negative 5 on the other side so whatever that we have here has to be rejected right Okay, so whatever we have here will be rejected. So we go straight to the other value, which is y equals 4. I remember that we had um, y to be 2 to the power of x, and that is now 4, right? Mind you, 4 is also the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So our 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2 and if that is the case since the powers the bases here are the same 
Therefore, the powers, um, the powers must be equal to each other. So we will now say that our x is equal to two. But like we always do, we verify our solution. So let's go and put this value of x into the equation and see. Okay, so this right here is our our vi our equation, but x is now two, right? So I'm going to put um, 4 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2. And this equally, this implies we are having 16 plus 4. Two, 4 squared is 16, 2 squared is 4. And then 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. And that's what we had on the other side of the equation. So this right here is the confirmation that x is equal to 2. Thank you for watching.